Hey everybody, this is Thumper and welcome to my new video. In this video, I discuss about the different kind of people you meet in Mumbai local trains. So a few days ago, I was in Mumbai taking my family out for a city tour. So to get the whole experience of Mumbai, we decided to take the local train. I sit down, get my phone up and start browsing. So the first kind of people just pop up right next to me. So they're called the experts. This guy comes to me and like, oh, new phone, huh? Samsung is very good. Snapdale series, I guess. I was like, I bought it from Amazon. You bought from Amazon? Very expensive, huh? You should have bought from Flipkart. No, I did my research. I got a better deal in Amazon. Oh, I said, what is Samsung? I didn't get it. What? You just said that this is a good phone. Now what? He's like, yeah, it's a good phone, but Xiaomi is even better. I take up enough gyan and turn around and I see another kind of expert, which are who are mainly into the financial market. So this guy is there advising you into which stock to buy, when the Sensex is going to crash, what are the new IPOs coming up. Once I made enough gyan to be a millionaire, I just turn around and look at the look towards the door where I see another kind of people in the mobile locals, the adventure junkies. Now these guys are actually hanging from the train outside, you know, hanging, holding onto a pole and hanging outside the train, literally. Although there is enough space inside. It's like their hobby or something, you know, that's what they get the happiness from. Not just that, whenever a station comes up, they just get down from a running train, just jump out and run along with the train and uh, when, this, when the train moves again, so they just run along with that, jump on the train and you should see the happiness on their face. I mean, seven people on an average die on local trains every day. Uh, and you could guess the reason why it happens. So we get to the destination, we go around the city and uh, cover all the spots and by around evening we have to come back, we come back to a station. Return. Holy moly guacamole! I mean, this is so crowded. I mean, if you haven't been to Church Gate Station during a rush hour, you haven't seen nothing yet. We somehow managed to get in, we don't get a seat. My face is squished against the wall. There's a 20 people on my side. It's all sweaty, it's all hot. I'm just being suffocated. I just look around to see something and I see the next kind of people I was looking for the choppers and scrapers. These are a bunch of people who are sitting with their knives and all, you know. Mainly working women returning from their job and they're all doing the chopping and preparation of the vegetables for the dinner. It's great man, it shows you the spirit of Mumbai, you know, the work and you're, you're getting your shit together and everything. So while they're coming to the station, they get whatever vegetables they need from the nearby markets. Every station has a market nearby. They get into the train, grab the seats, start chop 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 chop. It's not an individual activity, it's more like a teamwork. Now there's one person doing all the peeling, there's another person doing all the chopping of onion, there's another person scraping the coconut. The corporate have to do some kind of training on collaboration, teamwork and efficiency or something like that. They don't have to send them for an expensive training. All they have to do is send these people into this local train during a rush hour and that's it. You get to see everything that is required. So enough of looking into this efficiency and now I feel suffocated with all the crowd and all the heat and all the suffocation. I, I just need some kind of air. I look around, I see this one guy just standing in a corner. I'm like this is the corner and he's just standing there with his two hands on the walls and he's just taking out the weight of the people on his back. I thought this could be some kind of a training, you know, weight training, workout routine you know, or something like that. So I was like, can you just move a little bit, you know, I need to go to the door and breathe a little bit before I die. So he just, just turns around and looks to me like this, you know, like this. I was like, dude, okay, maybe you got something confused and uh, I said, see, I need to get to that side because I need to breathe. And he just gives me again some kind of a rude look. And this time he just moves a little bit, I catch a glance of what is in that gap. And then I realized that this is another kind of a person you see in Mumbai locals. This guy is a superhero lover. So what he has done is, in this crowded train, with all the weight on his back, he has created a private island for his lady love. He's taking all the weight of around 100 people on his back, and he has got that fierce look, and he's a badass. So this guy gives you a look like this, and the moment he turns towards his baby, it's like this, you know? He turns into a lover boy. That's also, I think, is a part of the the superhero thing which I've seen in the movies, you know, you're a badass and a, and a lover boy. So, and they even managed to steal a couple of kisses in that rush, in that crowd, in that Indian train. If that's not some kind of a superpower, I don't know what it is. 
I ditched the pen for breathing. I'm just standing there, and as we are approaching the next station, there's a bustle and bustle that is happening. And as we are almost reaching the next station, I see the next kind of people: the Spartans. Sparta! There are two sides in this war: one trying to get out of the train, another one trying to get into the train. And both these Spartans may not really want to do that, but they're just doing it for the fun. Pushing them, all the screaming, the crying, the laughing, and everything—they're just enjoying it, and they're just kind of uh, relieving the stress or something like that. If you happen to be in the middle of it, you may just be dead. You know, you may literally be thrown out into the station. You may just bang onto some kind of a steel pole and die. It has happened. So I feel relieved that I didn't go near the door when I thank the superhero guy and I look into him, and he's like, you know, still standing there, unshaken. All the war is happening. He's still holding his place and he's doing all the love and everything. So the train goes on. My station is coming next. I have to get to the door so that I can get down. So I get to the guy next to me and say, "See, I have to get down in the next station." And uh, he 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 laughs at me and he says something. And that makes me realize that I'm among the type of people who I'm going to describe next: the skippers and misses. So he tells me that the people who are standing in the door right now are the people who are supposed to get down like three stations ahead. If I had to get down to the next station, so I had to be in the door like 15 minutes ago, and I was like, "How is that even humanly possible? Among this war, the superheroes, all the sweat, all the pushes, how was I supposed to survive in that door like for 15 minutes?" So I'm like desperate. I have to get to the door. So I just try to wiggle my way out. I I beg and plead and tell people that I have to get down in the next station, and it just moved like two inches, and the sta station has already arrived, and I couldn't even be near to the door. Before I could move for like two inches, the train starts again. <laughs> so what happened is that I get down like three stations ahead and catch an auto and come back to the station where I was supposed to be and uh, meet my family. And that was my experience in Mumbai local. And if you have a different kind of experience or different kind of people you know, do comment below and let us know. If you like the video, click thumbs up and share among your friends in all social media. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Ciao.